Always super low. Hold on. Put, 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 get, get the mic. Hold on. Get the mic. Get the mic close to your mouth first. That's the first thing we're going to do. We get the mic close to your mouth, and then okay. and she, which way you talking? To? Mic four, and she mic four. Turn up just a little bit. She probably need a little volume on her mic, and she's talking real soft. So you know, she's trying to talk. Like I'm loud, like I'm yelling. That's how you feel. That's better. Not a new mic, just the same old mic. No. So she is. Well, it's always going to be loud. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Got it! No pink TV here. <laughs> All the same color. Man, that's hard right there. You know what I'm saying? But it's Unrestricted Radio. It's another Wednesday. Y'all held it down last week. Let's try. Did you? Did you? Hold on. Don't try to add dogs to it. Hey, you missed me too. Did y'all really? Or is you just faking like you really did? No, I think somebody needs to get on here for a recap. Come on, get get, get, get on here, Sonny, for a recap. Come on, come on. You might have Hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Happy Wednesdays. <laughs> Wednesdays are unrestricted. Hey, right. hey, okay. So y'all had a good a good show last week. Good. A good show last week. Yeah. Y'all was... Uh, yeah, the Kim. Yeah, the Kim. I like that. The Kim. The yeah, it was, it was good. She got a show on here? Yeah, she got a show. Monday, 11 to 1. Monday's 11 to 1? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, what's the name of that show you know? The Kim Show. Oh, the Kim Show. Very you fitting. supposed to bring the most for that, her. That's right. Hold on, y'all was drinking Evan in the joint? Oh. No, no, not yet. Did Good Rem Doctor know about that? <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> they didn't know about that? He's going to help you the most. That must have been Dave Edge was up. Yeah, yeah. Quick Gracie was up in here. Get a little bit. Y'all ain't gonna drink my mic with it. No, no, no. You don't drink my mic with it. Drink that in the lobby. Nah, uh, don't bring that up in here. So, uh, everybody had a good weekend, I'm gathering, you know what I'm saying? Y'all made it back from the weekend, you know? You look like you got a little sun. I was trying to remember what I did for the weekend. Mm, you sound like me. You, that, it's not, I swear back. you always say you can't remember. I know. She must go alive. You and that stuff? Exactly. She, she must go alive. Well, I'm going to say I went to the Summer Spirit Festival. Oh, yeah. See, oh, we did. We saw. Nice. Nice. Saturday and Sunday. I wanted, to go, Saturday. To, I wanted to go to that, but when I tried to swipe my card, that joke got declined, so... The, it was a surprise. So first off, that was the yeah. She get the award for the surprise. Man, I will never miss another year. I will never first time going. First time going and I'm old. Oh, okay. okay. It's my first time back, See, I'm next year, let's go. Cause I, I, I get it. What you do? I went to Philly. Oh. Of course. And, and, I, I, see, and, I, and I ain't exactly. bring it. And you know, I'm <laughs> stuffed her mouth with me. I went. Hey, Johnny. Oh. That come out loud? Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, John, oh, sorry. I mean, it's not like what happened though. She was, she was up Ishka Bibbles. Was, <laughs> I was up Ishka Bibbles. Yep, yes. she was up that joint. I seen, because you know I'm fat and I was blown to <laughs> bring me a joint back. You know what I'm saying? I was I was living vicariously through her. Yeah. So I was like, man, I can't get a steak and cheese, but I hope she enjoyed it. But it was like 115 on South Street. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, seriously. You, you can't, you can't not get one. Yeah. Right. Woo! But you look good. Thanks, Miss Daddy. I, exactly. <laughs> and look at here. I played with y'all enough before right. and get back to my job. What no, you, what you it's like always that? a dream snatcher in the crowd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, keep you on your toes. Oh, okay. I mean, I like how you look now. You got the nice little hat. You know what I'm saying? You got I'm the. Trying. I have a little problem with my little head gone, but we gonna work that out. Big earrings, like big earrings, and little hat, hustle. Like this. All my life. Why are you trying to look like? 
Looking like uh, what's his name? Jam Master J. Hold up, you said Jam Master. We gonna get you a leather hat next week. <laughs> Keep the glasses. We gonna we gonna finesse a leather hat. Yeah. And it's gonna be all in good. Yeah. Oh, 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 you know what we did though? Oh, yeah. We went to the Diamond Star Divas pool party. Oh, I didn't see no pictures. Ah, they're not out yet. They're not out yet. They're but you didn't out. take a picture? Ah, no, like Instagram. No, it's not like a what happens at the Diamond Star Divas party stays at the Diamond Star Divas. What happens on the roof stays on the roof? Really? It, it could be like that. I mean, I've seen some. Well, there are some pictures I've out there with my snaps. nipples out. So I'm just letting, I'm just letting it be known right now. Shout out to Nikki Washington. Oh yeah! Shout out, uh, vice uh, uh, vice president of uh, Diamond Star uh, Divas, Renee, uh, president Nikki Washington. Uh, let's say uh, who I'm else? sure you know all the ladies' names. Look, the name more. DJ you know DJ uh, Casper. DJ Casper. What's up, Casper? Dead. He was out there. He was doing his um, thing. Even though they clean entertainment. Uh, who else we had out there? I saw. Thirty two. So that shout out to thirty two was out there. Who was there? It was, it was DJ, um, what's his name? Which one? Big John? Big John. Big John, Big John, Big John, was, there. Big John was there. So was y'all in the Oh, cabana. Mitch. Oh, shout out to Mitch. Happy birthday, Mitch. Down in the cabanas. Y'all I'm not. Mind your business. We couldn't. <laughs> well, first of all, hold up. Hold up. We couldn't afford a cabana. So oh we, we, we posted so up right beside the cabana. <laughs> we had a prime spot on the side of the cabana. Smoke, smoke was going on behind the cabanas and everything, you know. Uh, nah, nah, that's a, that's a lie. You must be nice. I ducked on behind there one time, one time. That's it. Then I came I'm looking from at him, there. looking for him, thinking he got in a fight or something. You know, <laughs> back there. I don't know where. The party was lit though. It was it was nice. It was a real that's nice spot. Nice. Only yeah. thing is, is in a residential residential area, and oh, yeah. they can not turn the music up real loud. Mm. So it was like, like playing your cell phone, and then you just got to dance next to your phone real like you know. Hey, my <laughs> man, that's the ultimate wingman. <laughs> he got there before me and put a cone in the space for me to have a pocket space. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Hey, look, right by the almost by the front door. Hey, you can see you, we can see our car from over there from where we was at. Oh, that's what's up. I've never been there. It looked nice though. It looks nice. Oh, it was real nice. It's it was about four feet though. Yeah, so the whole pool. So, oh, four feet. so it was like up to my neck, but it was like with deep belly button. So it was like, you know, <laughs> it was a nice look, but it was like a fountain. He, he, kept, he kept complaining he was cold because his whole half of body was out the water. He was like, oh, man, man, it's only four feet. It's cold in here. He was walking around. Stay in the water. Stay in the water. Yeah, he was walking around like somebody hit him with a belt buckle, like real, like you know what I'm saying. Walking like, around on my knees. Yeah. <laughs> And there was a lot of short people in there too. Right. And they were just scared. It was like, am I gonna be able to stand? I don't know. And I was helping them in the water to see if they could stand. Oh, yeah. He was he was Captain Sable. Oh, yeah, I, I was, I was. I was. get out that deep I was like, come, come, come on, come on, because I was getting a little breast action on the arm, you know what I'm saying? They were scared. They was like, oh, no, no. I was like, yeah, come on, come he's on. Talking, like, no, he's talking about straddle, straddle. I'm like, it's just like one of them uh, handicap uh, chairs. <laughs> <laughs> it just move real slow. Yeah. But that was a good look, though. It was uh, it was, nice and chill. And, you know, I type of band. I go back and I think I get that music up. I still go back, though. So I know he, I mean, it might be up like if they did it early. They, yeah, maybe That's in the true. daytime, yeah, yeah. But the black people don't want to be out there in the sun like that because it was hot. Yeah, because somebody at this table always complaining about like they're the dark person. I mean, I'm hot too. I, I be sweating like a, a Coke bottle at a barbecue half the time, but I mean, damn. But like, the sun. The sun is. But you, you gotta look. You like sun kiss. Yeah, you so you a little more sun kiss. I'm. Uh, <laughs> not, <laughs> we, we ain't rocking. We, 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 you we, 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 to be honest, for me. Don't worry, they're not gonna come get you. Oh, okay. Lila she, she can really say. Hey, Sunshine walked out too, though. Jill Scott was Sunday. Jill oh, Scott was Sunday. Oh, you saw Erica? Erica, yeah. She was okay. Like, you seen I felt before? like, yeah. Okay. I just kind of felt like everybody that came before Erica, mm -hmm. yeah. They like, did. I, I could have done without her. Oh, yeah. You could have did Belladonna for an hour and I would have been good. Because they came out and rocked Erica. Oh, they always rocked. Yeah, they'd be right. Yeah. 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 And, and the Lord do And they all be jiggling and, and stuff. Like, oh, go he, ahead. Did. he rocked out. He okay. really did. Nice way to open the show. And you could definitely, it was hot. So people was, 
literally like dying for real. <laughs> like he was dying. Honestly, you gotta perform like like it's your last like performance your last before, before, before Erica Badu though. For real. I mean, because she might come out and make up a song on you and just and, and that's what I kill felt your like whole she life. did. Like we felt like she did. Like she just came out before and just stood there for a minute. You just was like, I love you. I'm like, and I was over by that. <laughs> I'm like, Erica, turn around. <laughs> $15 Show me what you're doing. Show me what you're doing. Lines was around. You know what? E Life had a little uh, stand there. Oh, uh-huh. they did? They showed well, me. Well, I walked back. Us. Hey, oh, I walked oh, right over oh, there. Oh, so, what show, what show host did you have up there instead of us? I was up there, believe it or not. Yeah, oh, no, oh, oh, I, I, I knew he didn't want to All share right. the spotlight with us. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Welcome, Welcome to E Life. So, as I tell you about. Go. He go tear his cut down. <laughs> Next week, on the he on the phone right now. Don't pick up. <laughs> we just playing, Doc. We just playing. Sonny loves you, Doc. That, right. That's the way it's fun. You see them to the right. But next time, Doc, if you want to have, look, you can just all you got to do is set up the booth, get us press passes. We will make sure that E Life Media is known and everybody knows that E Life Media is the number one internet station around town, right? Like we already do. All the time. Somebody stepped their uh, promotion game up this week, too. I'm just going to give them credit while we don't hear. I, I mean. Who did it? <laughs> oh, I didn't know something. Yeah, something. Yeah, look, you hold on. Hold on. Nice. She had pictures. I didn't even know. I was like, "Where she get the same from?" <laughs> nice. I said, "What people being more friends with?" And you never like that. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all, click them, click up, click up. Y'all mutual Love. friends, and they ain't never like none of your wow. pictures. Yep, none of them. Stunning. Is that? I was, I was like, hold on, hold on. This, this is another thing. Somebody that me and Mo mutual friends with. I didn't even know these mutual friends, right? I didn't even. Hold on, look. Then she said, she said, I am so happy y'all doing this and whatever. I was like, I was doing this since, <laughs> since April. <laughs> right. I was like, like, damn, like, <laughs> is that what it is? I'm like, sheesh. That is funny. But it's all right, you know what I'm saying? As long as whatever it takes to get the visibility. Know, if, right? if it takes Mo to post a picture, I'm not posting no more of my pictures. I'm only going to let you post them. From now, look at Mo and her show. Yeah, yeah. Mo got it. That don't look like him. Like, 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 yeah. I, I thought it was somebody I knew, but I didn't have it. Funny, I like when, I mean, just in general, anybody supposed to whatever. Like, I like when people get the like, but I like when people hit the, the, the little, little wow. Oh, no, no, the little, like emo- the emojis, you emojis, like that? I like all those. You get off on yeah, the emojis wow, a little bit more than, than like, Hey, LOL, or you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I like emojis, but I mean, I'll hit an LOL real quick. Like, ah, yeah, that's what's up. Hashtag cute. Yeah, that's what's up. Hashtag shade, no shade. Because that joint sounds shady as hell. Oh, that's cute. I see you. I see your little radio station. I see with your little. You know, you throw Lou in there. I I see you with your little new car. Look at two ugly dudes. Yeah. I see you with the two ugly dudes. You really bringing they show up. Right. (laughs) That's how you. That's how I feel. But it's okay because at least we get to feel some kind of way. So when you see Mo post stuff and there's pictures of all of us on there, like it, like it, share with other people. Get the other the wild joint up there. Yeah, and they hit the wild. I like the ha ha one. You like oh that? yeah, that's you. I love that. Yeah. You hit hard. Do you hit love though? You, I hit love. You love. You love status. It depends how thirsty. It depends how thirsty I'm feeling. How late it is. I know, but I don't know what person it is. Is it more love emojis like between 11 p.m. If, and if I know them, if I know them personally, I will do the love joint. If this is like a random Facebook friend, I don't want to know that. Yeah, hey, I, will come, be- I will come. I will come behind you. Be like, oh, you loving the style of mine? Now you loving? You loving that with your sister? Hope. So what is doing today? You know, I be catching them. Yeah, yeah. You always know. I know, Mr. Iyanla Van Zant is not so cute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're not put up with this stuff, sisters. Oh my God! Hold on, you're so did you call this man, Mister? <laughs> you, yeah. Ayana Van Zandt. That's you. I'm Dr. Phil of anything. Hey, Doctor Phil of That's what you got. This Bible will have like all the like bitter baby mamas like his stuff. Don't trust him because you deserve to be loved. Hey. Know your worth. Hey. Hey. No, that that's, that's the baby hey. right there. That's the that's the baby. Hey. He said the oh, trap right there. He like he like me. Right. Hashtag hit me on my DM. It's, it's, it's bitter, baby like, bitter baby Thursdays, like bitter baby mama Thursdays, like he got something for him. 
He's like, you know, you be kicking in a little whip. No, that's you. That's you. Hey, look at here, y'all. Y'all having a good time, and I love it. But I'm gonna need for y'all to stay on trying to. Okay. Like, okay. Okay. So you know, you know, as we digress, like we do on the um, restricted radio show, <laughs> or Eli's Media. Um, also, like if you like to call in and. And your name is not Lynette. Call in 2404555934. Oh, it's like, nah, Lynette, you know she's going to call. Last week, you know, she was here last week. Not physically in the studio. But she was in town. Oh, man. Lynette, you should have hit me up. You should have left me your room key. Because I would have come to your hotel. It's like, no, I'm playing. But no, we uh, have another segment of the show that we like to do. We got to give a shout out to somebody else. Oh. Oh my gosh, AW Graphics and her suit and, and that cover up, girl. Yes. And the whole cabana. And the whole cabana. Y'all had cabana access. No, we had access, but we, we didn't have. They, they, were, they were trying to press us off with a little bit more money to get the cabana, so we like, we just gonna chill on the side and, and be friendly with y'all. Nah, you know but nah, real talk. They let us in. They let us in. They let us in. smoke one to be with action was in. Okay. We didn't want to look like bougie dudes, like. Yeah, in the pool party, just walking around oh, with like Steve Roy on. was there too. Oh yeah, Steve Roy was up there joint. Mitch was there. It was his birthday too. Yeah. Oh, um, Sassy was there. Yeah. Anthony Commodore was there. I saw Sassy was there late. Yes. Um, you know she went to the uh, the book signing before that. Bridget was there. Yes. U Style Magazine. She was there. Mm -hmm. um, who else was there? There was a couple people that was like yeah, Anthony Commodore. Acting like they didn't know us, but we knew who they were. Um, a couple other people from the Boss Cats. Um, I don't know, dude, to be a yeah, boss. I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite. I don't know. That's peculiar. Yeah, so it was like, you know, a good collective of the well, city. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Sunny over there looking she like she, she, about to, she about to throw something over here. So, you know, this is the. Shirts. I bought this for the little Shantae Moore. She got the touch my shirt. Nah. You're on probationary, you're on probationary period right now. After two months, you can get a shirt. We don't want to give you one too early. You might take it to another show and finesse it, put some tape on it, and it'd be the streets unleashed. <laughs> hey, but this is the segment of the show we like to call the hot topic section. You know, some, some shows, they spill the tea. We like to knock over the whole picture and just get in everybody's business. If you want to get in anybody's business up here, you want to spread it, you know, tell some stories about Mo, call up here. 240-455-5934. If you know some um, some stories about D over here, I know I know you got some. Not, yes, please I'm call that, that. I'm gonna cut that supply off. <laughs> you not call him. Hey, he said it's a lifeline, ain't it? He said that thing a lifeline. Not call him. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to call up here for me, don't do it. Okay, we in here. Um, in today's news, we have some alleged news. Okay, and allegedly, this young person is getting high news. Malia Obama! I saw that! Like, Malia Obama like, was smoking like, the chronic! Ago, allegedly. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Well, I mean, it was. It was a little something. I was like, I was like, is that a B? I tried to slow it down. It looked like raw paper. It wasn't a backwood. I could tell it wasn't none of um, it wasn't none of them other joints. It wasn't like a uh uh white owl or nothing. And she was hitting it with two fingers. Yeah, she did have her fingers. She had she had a two fingers, the piece on it, so. Allegedly, uh, Amelia Obama is smoking. I don't know. She had fun, clearly. <laughs> she had a ball. Cause... I'm not mad at her. She was, she was doing a little twerking. She was at Lollapalooza. She did a little bit of twerking. She might have hit the, she allegedly might have hit the J or not. I don't know if the Secret <laughs> Service was letting that go down. She might have hit it twice and held it and just let it go like, I don't want to see it no more. But she going to Harvard anyway, so. I mean, she could, she could, she could indulge a little bit, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so we're not going to charge her. Because she's not the president. Man. Right. I mean. I wouldn't be mad if the president hit a little something. Like one time, Snoop came to the uh, to the White House and he was like, you know, now you know I normally don't do this, but if there's any indication of what's this, my man, Snoop Dogg? <laughs> yeah, he might have said. Wow, <laughs> exactly. In other news, and this Bama needs to stop welling and go ahead and drop his album news. Frank Ocean. Everybody's waiting on the Bama Frank Ocean. A tornado went around my room. I, I, apparently, a lot of people waiting for this album. Right. They've been on Twitter, um, Twitter and online dragging him because he said he's going to drop it last week. It didn't drop. Now they say it's going to drop November fourth. I mean, I'm not really checking for it. Whoever yeah, it is, I'm not you like nerds? Yeah. Nerds. Um, oh, another next thing. Guess what? Big rappers retiring, y'all. Oh. Bow wow, y'all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look, he yeah, he said he's retired from rap. Uh, he's, he's a rapper. <laughs> yes, he was a rapper. You remember you was Harlem shaking with your little cousins and them. He was like, man, he was like, come on, come on, little man, man, come on, little 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're in little flats. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, you remember that whole era. He was real big, but I guess he felt the need to tell everybody he was retiring. I mean, we all thought he was retired anyway. Yeah, I mean, what's the what's the last Bow Wow song you know? Nothing. So we're going to move on from that. Bow Wow, don't ever make an announcement about retiring when everybody yeah. thought you was retired for five years already. <laughs> Moving on. Um, next, uh, rapper Tiger, he's in the news again. He's getting sued for unpaid rent to the tune of about $400,000, which is ironic because last week he just bought his girl a $200,000 Maybach. And I was feeling some kind of way because I was like, dang, that's a big gift. I wish somebody would buy me something for my birthday. I mean, the last thing I got for my birthday was a polo shirt, and it was from the shrimp boat, and the dude on the horse was leaning to the side, so I knew it wasn't real. <sighs> um, Tiger, do better, but not really, because he's just Tiger, and he's not going to do much better anyway. Um, shout out to Black Child. Oh, <laughs> yes, shout out to Black Child and Tokyo Tony. Both of them fat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mama got ass, too. So, um, next in the news, the Bama uh, Blackfoot Peter Guns. You remember Peter Guns from um, oh, yeah, Love and Hip Hop, New York yeah. fame? He had the black feet on TV. Yeah, the black feet. yeah, he was on TV and they had they screenshot his feet. It was all dirty and everything. I was like, ugh. So, he had a baby with uh, Amina. Right. She just had a baby. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this, but don't. And this is his 10th kid. Oh. His 10th. Yeah. yeah, he got 10 kids. And they, and they also... She took a picture of him and posted this, it online. Okay, I saw this yesterday. And he was holding the baby. I didn't see the picture. I heard about it. Hey, the shave room. Hey, yes. You know. It was a picture of him holding the baby. And while he was holding the baby, I guess it was a picture of his meat. You can see his meat, too. And everybody was like, ugh. Like, you going to put the baby in a picture with the meat? I mean, like, how, did you did you see it? I saw the picture. How did you feel about it? I mean, he was holding his baby. But, I mean, it's but, the but, morning time. I mean, he might have a little morning wood, but he's holding his kid. And that's, that's <laughs> you probably like, you sound like uh what else happened? Uh, show me the screenshot of your phone. Sorry. <laughs> the wall the, the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, you made it a wallpaper like that. Now don't I show mean, it. It was okay. I mean if you look at real hard, like I mean I saw that he was holding his kid. He's laying down holding his kid. So. But it was not a big deal to you. Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, and now we gotta get down to this Olympic news. Dun 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 Man. We got black people winning in the Olympics. Yeah. We got Michael Phelps winning in the Olympics. He's kind of like black because he's from Baltimore. He listens to trap music and he smokes weed. So we're going to give him a beneficiary black card just for the Olympics because we feel good about that. That's right. Um, we also, Gabby Douglas, her and the rest of the people that are on the uh, gymnastic team, they brought home the gold, y'all. Now, there was a little bit of controversy with Gabby Douglas because she decided to not put her hand over her heart during the singing of the national anthem. Now, I didn't know that that was like, you had to do that. I thought you just had to like stand and recognize it, but I mean, she she didn't put her hand over her heart, so what, she went to go. People still talking about her little wheat, her little um, edges and everything. Leave her edges what? alone. People, she, so she's a gymnast. She cannot have smooth edges and good baby hair all the time. She's sweating, all right? Leave her alone. Right, but here's the thing. Gabby Douglas can fix her hair after she's done doing gymnastics. But you can't do gymnastics no matter how good your hair looks. So think about that, you know what I'm saying? Before you join on her. We love you, Gabby, and the other little black girl on the team, too. Simone. Simone, I couldn't remember her name because they was getting ready to go on her, too. But I'm like, don't come for them, girl. Don't come for them, little girls. So that's all the news for today in the Hot Topics, you know what I'm saying? Um, we have a sponsor. Today's sponsor is Sammy's Salmon Shirts. That's what Dwayne got his shirts. <laughs> Sammy's Salmon Shirts. They used to be they used to be down there at Iverson Mall. Now they down there right across from the shrimp boat inside the gas station. That's Sammy Salmon Shirts. If you're looking for a salmon shirt. You, you know, yeah, nah, nah. It's pink right now. Nah, nah, my, my joint is pink. This is hot no, pink. That joint is hot pink. That that joint is I, that joint is sneaky salmon. <laughs> Look, this might be hot pink, that's sneaky salmon, but we're gonna work it out either way. Either way, we're looking good. And you know yeah. what? Next week we have a real sponsor, so stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna need y'all to go sponsor the place that we are talking about. That's what's up. And, and you can check at Sammy's too if you want to get you a salmon color shirt. You might be going to a wedding or something. Got you, <laughs> got you some salmon hush puppies, some new buck blend shoes, or anything like that yes, from North Shore Rack. You got new books? No, what he got on his feet today? I didn't see. 
Oh, he got sneakers oh, on. Okay. Sneakers on. All right, that, that, that's, that's good. Just making sure. <laughs> but you know, this is the Unrestricted Radio. Like I said, we do have a guest coming up. Really informative information, like we normally do. I mean, sometimes it's informative, sometimes it might be a little nasty. You might have to put your kids to bed. But this ain't one of those times. No, no you can tell the first lady in your church to listen if she want to listen. And the kids can listen too, probably. Yes, they can. So um, we're going to go to a little music break real quick. We're going to come back. We're going to do some other things. And we're going to have our guest on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. Who's our guest? Just let them know before we go to commercial. We have the brothers from Boys to Bow Ties in here. And, and we're, we're going to let them take over and tell us a little bit about what they got going on. They got a big event coming up this weekend. And it's a family event. So y'all definitely need to listen because I know y'all are trying to find something to do with your family this weekend. You should always try to find something to do with your family. <coughs> Yeah, yes, I don't have a family, so I do stuff by myself. But if I did have a family, I do stuff with them every other weekend that I'm available. So, unrestricted radio. We be right back. We be right black. I be trying to mix it up, so sometimes it don't always sound like smoke is taking us to the commercial break. Oh. Yeah, somebody else will do the next one. All right, so we just talked about a few minutes. I'll give you five to ten minutes. How you doing? Hey, Mo, is this your friend over in the corner? Yes, Kiani. Hey, Kiani. Hey, Kiani. Hey, 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 we got love. We got Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see both hands. Wait, Mo, hands. Do like this. Do like this, Kiani. Do like this. I got to see, Kiani. Make sure you got two working hands. You know what I'm saying? Both. 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 Yeah, these are female. Yeah, let's do it. Reggie Ray, that, that's a hat you have in the go go. You be like, Joe, Uptown Hustlers. Oh, it was a madness. It was a madness, Joe. It was a madness. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, All right, now turn mic three back up a little bit. And then mic four, turn it down. Uh-uh. Oh, one, 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 one. I'm, I'm one of me. Or my four. Which one is this red? Oh, turn four down. Get that one back there. They said they don't use bow ties, so we won't see what they do with that. Come back. We like you in the audience. Mo, you what you gonna do, Smoke? 
Just bring them out a little. Bring them out. Bring them out. No, you don't have to do it the other way. You don't have to do the bring them out. This is the regular thing. Okay. But they're not going to like they're going to fall. They're not going to fall. All right. Hey, 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 we back, we back, we black. You know what I'm saying? I was jarred. I'm trying hey, to you gotta, you it out a little bit. Nah, you good. You got you gotta hold on to your head I mean, and your hat. No, nah, but it was time. cute though, because I was like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey. You had your hand up. That, that's the old school move right there. You know you party when you put your <laughs> hand up, you know what I'm saying? And that's when the dudes put their chin on their chest and be like, ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like all the man on <laughs> Hey, be careful. You know she had a whole squad up here. We, be, know, we, we had to run to our car. Yeah. Yeah. What you was talking about, Mo? Good arm up. You know what I'm saying? But Mo, you about to the Mo? Nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the little dude in the salmon shirt, all right, but the one in the pink, nah, kick his ass. You like, nah. But we, like I said, we back and we have guests here right now. We have the brothers from Boys to Bow Ties. Give it up, y'all. Coming, gentlemen. Thank you for coming. Thank you uh, for having us. I want you to talk into this mic, brother. No pause. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, 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 oh, just, just so make sure the people can hear you. You know what I'm saying? Pause, um, in, introduce yourself, brother. I'm Gino LeGrant. I'm a vice president of Boys to Bow Ties. Uh, this is Mr. Tony Diggs, aka Junior, Big Brother Junior. Also, uh, president of Community Outreach and Boys to Bow Ties. That's right. Yes, indeed. So. People been asking me all day, they like, man, we got to hear what these brothers got to say because they, they say they want to get involved in, in what y'all got going on because they know it's a good movement and they heard about it before right, and they right. just didn't know exactly what was what it was about. So, give us, give us, what is Boys to Bow Ties all about? So, Boys to Bow Ties is a nonprofit organization. We're 501c3. Um, we are a mentor program. We call it a big brother program on steroids. Mm -hmm. we, we go further than big, normal big brother programs do, and we do more than what a typical big brother program is. Right. We're not your typical after school program. We're not a see you <laughs> once a week type program. We are involved with everyday life always. Yeah, we ain't one of these programs, you know, no offense. You know, like a fraternity program, they come when Can't they're not from the area, and mm -hmm. they hear and can't really communicate with the people, you know. I mean, they communicate because they look alike, but yeah, actually yeah. knowing what's going on in the and community, knowing you know, the community and everything, you know, we're not like that because we're from here, you know. So that makes a big difference. Yes, it does. Uh, actually being aware of what's going on with the residents that you're actually trying to assist. Correct. It's like, you know, sometimes when you go in blindly, you can't really get the grasp. You, you, you're right on the surface, but like you said, you guys know the area, you know what some of the real problems that these guys are going through and you get to connect with them in that way. Yeah, I mean, it, it's love being able to go into the communities and we know leaders already in the communities and we're connecting with them, you know, and basically, pause, we spreading our seeds out to them and their youngins. You right, know I mean? right, right, absolutely. absolutely. And you know what the good thing about that is? It shouldn't be no competition trying to better the group. It should, it should never be, you know, a competition type of thing, so. <laughs> and we work with a lot of uh, different programs. Like we just finished a program uh, this summer with Howard Upper Bound. Mm -hmm. Like our program was embedded into that program. So we went three to four times a week and taught classes to these young uh, high school students, 17, 18 year old students. And when I say like, I feel like, I fell in love with these young boys. Like I'm these are, these, yeah, yeah, like these are, we did it for like three or four weeks and Love these little, little guys, man. And, and just to hear them open up and speak to us about their everyday problems and going through with them, going through things with them about what they have problems with and what um, they're dealing with on everyday life and at home life and with school and every day in, a, in their neighborhoods with friends and things, you know. And it's hard to get a young man to open up and talk to. Man, and by the second day, these guys was like, when you guys come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but, you know, that's what we do. We, we, we try to make them feel comfortable enough 
that they can open up to us. Because every these young men don't want to talk to their parents all the time about stuff. They keep stuff from their parents. Some of them don't have parents. So we're, 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 we call ourselves that third parent. So we're that third parent that we want to deal with your problems. We want you to bring your problems to us. That's why we say I, the worst child you think that's out here, give them to us. Because we don't see no no problem with them. We don't see a lost child. We we don't call any child lost. It's the problem is that, that us adults haven't taken the time to find these children. That is true, brother. So we we've been down these roads that these young men are going. We all grew up in bad neighborhoods. We all took bad turns. Yes. But at some point, that bad turn turned into a U turn and came back the other way, where we're all successful now. We're all doing good things. We all take care of families now. We all have our own kids. We all, we all in the situation right now, we're able to give back. Yeah. So, therefore, you know, I know that decision that he wants to make, and it might feel good at the time. But we're not going to tell you not to make your own decisions or anything, <clears throat> but we're going to give you options and plus consequences of making those decisions. And you can choose for yourself because we, we don't want to create followers. We want to create leaders, yeah. decision makers. Mm -hmm. And we just finished up a program along with uh, Prince George County government safe summer we're going around the community center started at 10 o'clock at night and we then until we get tired and all of us got to be to work five, six o'clock <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know after us we getting off doing the family thing and everything 10 o'clock at night when the kids they opening up the community centers letting them come in there instead of being on the streets and actually <coughs> being on the corners and everything so while they're in there and they balling they playing playstation xbox what have you we're coming on and delivering the message at the same time and they be the same way. The first they be, you know, real rebellious. Apprehensive. You know how you know how yeah, they be yeah, like, man, we gotta stop playing ball. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, and, and they right. gotta stop playing basketball. That's one thing you don't want to do. Stop <laughs> playing ball. Stop playing Madden or something. But, you know, we say we we're, we're gonna take about 10, 15 minutes and with them talking and they getting into it, we there for hours talking to them. They don't even realize that they've been talking to us for over an hour now. That's love right there. You know? yeah. Those kids need stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Definitely on weekend nights. Because mm -hmm. they be hanging out in front of gas stations with the Jordans on, asking to pump your gas and all that. I'm like, man, your shoes look better than mine. <laughs> <That's not laughs> my gas. I'm asking you for change before you even go inside the yeah. gas station. I'm like, how you? I I ain't got no money. The ones that ask for change, I'm kind of worried about. What ones that actually wouldn't work for pumping my gas, yeah. I, I, I respect. Because actually, I was a young guy that grew up around the way. And I went back around the way and I saw him selling waters. In. Oh no, that's 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 that's, 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 that's a good hustle. That's a good hustle. Yeah. And it was a girl with them. Yeah. So I respect the fact that <laughs> they're both out trying to better themselves in any shape or form. You know what I'm saying? And so, what you saying that that brings us to our boys, the bow ties model, which is stop. Mm -hmm. How you spell stop? S T O P. S T O P, which means a boys the bow ties. We use it as an acronym for seek time or pay. You need to seek the time to invest in yourself and to what you want to be. Or you're going to pay later. You're going to pay. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Say that again. Because that was we, real. We use stop. The acronym <coughs> stop. Seek time or pay. And this is going to be used for anybody. For anybody. But this is not just for children. This is for adults yeah. and everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. This is like everything. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you feel like you want to be when you grow up or whatever you want to invest your time in in life and doing and being successful in, you need to seek the time. Or you're going to pay later. Because you're going to start behind, start from behind later on. Yes, that's true. That's true. Now your program is for boys age what age? <coughs> Ages eight to eighteen. Mm -hmm. so I'm too old. I know, I like it. I'm too old. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I don't have all the time to work you know, I have my own family. You know, I love the brother, but I, you know, I don't. Look, I'm like, I, look, I'm like, damn. Like, you know, you gotta go home, smoke. Like, 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 I'm about to go play man down the community so the way the boys the both time. And anyway. Hey, let's go out here. Smoke, I can't smoke. I gotta go home. I can't go yeah, home. So, yeah. so, yeah. yeah. I, it's 8 to 18, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, do you make exceptions for any younger or? Yes, we do. That's what we do. We make exceptions for younger kids, even kids older than 18, in their 20s, where we're seeking help, you know, and we also, after girls, I mean, it's called boys to bow ties, but we don't turn anyone away. No child turns you know, away. We have, soon we're going to have a program for females, but like I said, we, we're still kind of new at this. We're here about three months in, and, you know, by the time we finish getting this, all the way solid because we solid right now. Mm -hmm. 
that's when our project for our young women is going to take off. That's what you got to do. You got you to expand Always and Always moving forward, baby. Cover all bases. Make sure everybody is. So um, how long exactly have y'all been doing this? Well, Here. we've officially been a 501c3 since uh, last March, I think it was, when we uh, finished the paperwork and everything. But myself and uh, our CEO, Mr. William Page, we, we shout out BJ. Yeah, we've all <laughs> been we've all been mentoring and with kids for a long time. So I've, I've done 15 years in the military and I've traveled around the world. There's not probably a country you can name that I haven't been to. So you know. Growing, coming in the military, I was 20 when I came up, and growing up in the military and seeing a lot of things in the military and having younger black men come into the military at 17, 18 years old that are from different neighborhoods and different walks of life. And I see making the same mistakes that I made, you know, and having to grab them. And I know you come from something like this because I had a guy tell me, uh, Marvin McMillan, he's my best friend. Uh, first friend in the military. Really. His name is Mac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I always give him a shout out. You know, and I come from St. Louis. And I come from bad neighborhoods. You say with nothing. You know, you know, you know, you know, Chingy, right there, right? Hey. Go ahead, go ahead. We should try to get him to do the dance with you. <laughs> like do that jump real quick. Oh, <laughs> y'all really talk like that, dog. <laughs> you know, I, I got it all. I got it all. But you know, coming from bad neighborhoods and projects and all that stuff, I had that mentality in my head because I've never been out of St. Louis before I joined the military. So I thought every person lived like I did: projects, neighborhoods, bad neighborhoods, and all this stuff. So when I, I my first base that I went to was Langley Air Force Base, and when I used to know, I mean, this is what we tell the kids. I used to walk around the base with a pistol on me because that's how, where I came from. That's the walks of life I came from. It's protection. It, nobody in St. Louis, you know, we didn't, we didn't do that. Without a gun, no. Nah. You don't even go out the house. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You, I'm going to just chill. Right. So, check the so <laughs> I'm walking around the base like that, and my homeboy tells me, he's like, why you got a gun on you on the base? I was like, why you don't? <laughs> You know, because this is what I know. Yeah, you this is what I come from. I told him, so where I'm from, this is what we do. He was like, but where you at? I said, I'm in Virginia. He's like, keep walking around with a pistol on you. You're going to be back where you came from. That's true. He wouldn't lie. Right, right there. Right, those, those little things right there. And he was older than me. You know, those little things that people say to you stick with you. So I don't care how much we talk to these young men. Talk, talk, talk. And you think they're not listening. Something's gonna stick. My mother used to tell me that that I know y'all act like y'all don't not listen, but I can keep talking. I'm gonna keep talking because some of it's gonna stick. And I, I refer to with my own sons. I say some of the things that my mother used to say to me, and I I didn't even know I remembered. I sound just like my mother talking to my sons. It, it goes around full circle, right? Yeah, it does. You start to sound like your mom. Yeah, exactly. Hard head, soft ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't move your ass. I'm sorry. Don't move your ass. Have all the country sayings and stuff, you know. But kids these days, they don't know about the stop crying on McGee, something to cry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let them cry out now. You know what I'm You know your mother used to say, shut up. 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 Exactly. Right. Like you push that jump back in. Right. Yeah, you, you push that jump back in. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna just hold him on. Right. But so you guys have an event coming up this weekend. That's good. Yes. Uh tell us about the event. Okay, so on Saturday at the Broadwater Mansion we have an, what we call Project Peace and this is our second annual gathering. Last year, man, it was a great turnout. It was a great turnout. Man, it, I mean, it exceeded our expectation. We expected about 100, 150 people. We had over 400 people show up. That's what I'm saying. Damn. Free book bags, yeah. school supplies. Who y'all pee out first? Right. <laughs> <laughs> us. You see us? That's us. Boy, we like, can we put an unrestricted rate on the back of the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Right. The team is small, man, but we, we make it happen, man. It's, it's necessary, you know, for us to put in the work and the dedication because 
Like we tell our young brothers, there's nobody coming to the rescue. Right. Mm -hmm. There's nobody coming. And we here. And we, we're supposed to be the rescue. And if we won't do it, who we expect to do it for us? Mm -hmm. So as we move forward, program moves forward, if we don't move, it doesn't go nowhere. We're just sitting here and we're staring at each other and we're back on with Brother BJ Porch talking, talking about, about it. Mm -hmm. Talking about it. And not doing that. We're back in the barbershop talking <coughs> about it and not making no moves. So Project Peace is uh, a community-based uh, event that is for the community, by the community. So, but we give out a lot of free items, like a lot of school supplies. Everything is free. They come free haircuts. School you have school food. Clothes. You have popcorn, cotton candy, bouncy houses, flag football. We got swimming pools, DJs. Uh, uh, Brother Shabazz will be performing. <laughs> Brother uh, Shabazz, young brother, Shabazz, shout out young brother, brother Shabazz. Shabazz will be performing. Uh, last year we had uh, Love Life Foundation. Raheem Devon. Shout out to Raheem. He you gonna know, be there again this year. He gonna stop through again. Yeah. You know. Um, so it's a it's a great event that we just put it on for the community to have fun and get ready for the school year, mm -hmm. you know, to, to in, enforce education on our community because you can't do anything without education. We tell the kids all the time that, you know, there's, they can take everything from you, your shoes, your clothes, your car, your house, everything, but they can't take what you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take what you know. So we, we try to force education. You cannot be fooled if you know it already. So to encourage these young brothers and sisters to to be serious about their education, you know, it, it, there's 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 no problem with having fun in school and, and being productive at the same time. So with all that being said, man, tell all your loved ones, everybody that's tuning in, all your loved ones, little kids, I mean, adults, you're invited also. It's free for everyone. It's from 12 to 6 on Saturday at the Broadwater Mansion up in Marlboro off of 301. Adult y'all can save a lot of money. We just, got, we're giving out school supplies just, and stuff. Just, hey, if, just bring yourself. If yeah. you didn't hear what these brothers said, they said the cost is free ninety nine. Free. I I, heard, I swore her free haircuts because when I said that, Mo was touching her edge up. She was like, <laughs> she was like I wonder do they do adults? Cause I just need a line right in the back. I, I saw her looking at my beard. Yeah, and she was like, she was like, do they do Beijing and and, and, and yeah, escrow beards? Like, no, no trims. <laughs> no trims for adults. Can, can, can Dwayne get one? No, we. It's only for the kids. Y'all got. So it's, it's we said free free music, free, free performances, yeah. free food, free entertainment, mm -hmm. haircuts, school supplies, yeah. women, and, and, and shout out uh, and Tommy Broadwater man for uh -huh. allowing us to do this for the second straight uh -huh. year, man. You you've been a blessing to us, and we like to thank you. Shout out. Man, that shout out because he, you know, what I'm saying he don't be letting everybody do stuff up there like he right. used to. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, um, and the Broadwater is from the first time we did it, we had to talk him, talk to him for a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it was. You got to finesse it. He's like, you about to do what? Yeah. You you gonna use the pool too? Like y'all got insurance? Huh? Y'all got insurance? You got a DJ? Right. Oh hell no. Nah. He's like, you like, got a band? They got Congo? Oh nah, nah. Like, we only do jazz parties. Like, hey. So you know, yeah. we happy that y'all got the spot. Mm -hmm. We gonna go to a quick music break. We are gonna come back with y'all. We gonna get all y'all information so people can know how to get in touch with y'all. They might wanna need to find out some information how to get their kids down to something that y'all doing. We'll be right back. Unrestricted radio, and Wednesdays are unrestricted. unrestricted. Yeah. Uh, I just look out for the events. We're going to be back in the house of the I did a drink with the one we talked about with Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Yeah, we got yeah, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, people, uh, all that was good. Mm -hmm. um, we also got, uh, we got a voice of both kind of line down with a number. We know we give out tonight. Yeah, we want to see them. Yeah, we want to see them.
You got the thing you can write on the iPhone too? Oh, you got that? Oh. I'm surprised. Can we find a sponsor to put up the money to get the insurance plan on my phone? <laughs> well, you know somebody? I'm about to get my business spot. But I mean, it's like both. Yeah, you got two numbers on my phone? Yeah, we got Google joints. I'm getting jealous. Nah, it's, two, it's the company. It's called Magic Mobile. They can have a one dollar one and business. It's an Apple company. Oh, so you're not with AT&T or nothing like that? No, but they go through Oh, okay. Well, damn. I feel like, I'm, like I, don't, I need to be doing better with my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. When the new phone comes out, you want to stay automatically. Doing Damn, that's, that's on the face. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, you well, like doing it, man. It's you, my drink right here. All right, y'all, we one minute out. We're going to come on back. I'm going to finish up that. So now, are they sticking around? Okay. Okay. What, nine o'clock hour? Oh, right, yeah, hold on. Okay, now, look at here. We want them to promote what they have. Yeah. Got them tie to tie. And then we're going to clean up, get y'all ready for the other trip. Get out. Right. I didn't know you was like, I thought you were good. I thought you were just somebody you brought in and let's do it. I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, y'all. We always come back. <laughs> <laughs> right? Why you want me to do this thing today? Hey, hey. We back. We back. We black now. Hey, like I said, you know the studio hotline number is 240-455-5934. It's always the same. You know, we Lynette, got... you don't have a question tonight? I'm surprised Lynette ain't called. I know she listening. She, <laughs> Lynette called up here every week. Shout out to Lynette. Hey, shout out, yeah, shout out to Lynette. People, look. Lynette, sent some school supplies up here. Yeah, send some school supplies <laughs> if you want to. If, hey, I need a new iPhone or something. Look, we'll, we will put you on a banner for uh, Unrestricted Radio. Because you might be part of the show. Who knows? If you send $300 worth of school supplies, we'll send smoke down to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I will I will trick for uh, school supplies for the kids because it's for the kids. Remember, right. uh, it's for the kids. But now we back with the brothers from Boys to Bow Ties, y'all. Hold up, give them one more round of applause. Yeah. After they said this, their whole drink was free, I'm like, damn. Like, if you don't make it to that, you like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear no complaints. They said try to pick up somebody's kid. No, no, I don't, I don't do stuff like that no more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, retire, I retire from that, you know what I'm saying? I used to push people baby around the ball and like, they're like, oh, he's so cute. That's your baby. I'm like, no, I'm just washing. Oh, they let you wash the baby? Like, <laughs> be on, you know what I'm saying? But I, st I, st I stopped using people's kids because that's bad luck, you know what I'm saying? So these brothers have this event going on. Just tell, tell them one more time. Tell them, tell them about the event one more time because I want to make sure everybody knows about this event because it's free 99 y'all. Yeah. How much it costs? Free How much it costs? Free How much? Free. free. That's right. Free. This is going to cost you a little bit of your time to come have fun. So once again, we have having our second annual project piece this Saturday from 12 to 6 at the Broadwater Mansion in Upper Marlboro. The address to the Broadwater Mansion is 4205 Crane Highway 20772. If you need any type of directions, you want to make donations, which we still are taking in donations, whether it be cash or school supplies. You can call us on the Boys to Bow Tie line that is open 24 7 at 301 442 0615. Say that number again 301 442 0615. Maybe we can get Eli Media to uh, donate something to them. Hey man, that'd be love, that'd be great. Right? That'd be love. Okay. And they then we're restricted radio, so we're working with them. We're working with them because they work with us. You know what I'm saying? They work with us, man. Anything, any and everything counts, we man. We have to watch. Ain't nobody. Uh, <laughs> so they get to watch, man. Can we settle? Can we find a watch and get the money? <laughs> <laughs> and get some school supplies. And somebody call Stuffy down the pawn shop right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stuffy, coming down, man. <laughs> nah, but uh, hey, watch. Ain't nobody with it. <laughs> nah, but 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 like I said, we y'all got a lot of stuff. And, and tell them everywhere they can reach y'all, like Twitter. 
um, Instagram, Black Planet, MySpace, Me Hente, WhereFarmersMeet.com, all that drink. Tell them, man. You gotta tell them. Well, we have an official website. You know, you can Google us, boysthebowties.org. Or dot com. Or dot com. com. We're on Facebook at Boys the Bow Ties. We're on Instagram at Boys the Bow Ties. We're on Twitter at Boys the Bow Ties. And we have a YouTube channel at Boys the Bow Ties. So y'all ain't got no reason. He gave y'all every joint. Everything. Every joint. Up. Every joint. So we got the event this weekend. You got all of the other information that y'all need. So there's no reason for you to say, Man, I ain't know about it because, man, they ain't say it. And then you could even go back and watch this on YouTube. But, right. Let me ask this question. We've been talking about the donations. Okay. I'm a single mother. Maybe let's say I got two boys. How can I get them into your program? You can get them into our program uh, when we're going to start back up our Saturday enrichments. Or you can reach out to us. We will come directly to your son's school, your son's neighborhood. You know, we're take our time to take your son out you know you tell us whatever the problem is or whatever it is you're trying to get us to do with your son and we'll make it happen so yeah. is it like an application yeah, well we have a contact page okay. that's on boys the bow ties uh, dot com or dot org that you can put your information in there and what you're what basically you're needing help with with your son okay, so it? then we will we will clarify we'll call you or you call us we'll tell you call us email address all your contact info information we'll take all that down and we'll set up sessions with your with you and your son okay would it cost me anything it won't no. cost you nothing Everything so let me get this correct mm -hmm. <laughs> you ready to drop this on my son yeah. it's not gonna cost me anything see let me explain to you you ain't okay. even got pay his gas we're, we're, okay. we're not here to be a profit organization or um, to get any type of shine or anything like that. We are here strictly for the children. Now, and that's our drive, is, is our community. And our these children are our future. We will have nothing without them in the future. So we're all passionate about these kids. There's, there's, this is not for gain at all. Hold on, we, we might have a call. If this is the net, she, we, we can't take her call right now. She won't tell her if it's the net, she got a call back, I swear to God. So you just mentioned something about a Saturday in Richmond. Mm -hmm. When do you do that? We were running that out of uh, Bradbury Elementary last school year. Uh, so we're, we're, we are going to start that back up as soon as the school year starts. Saturday in Richmond, that's also free. Everything is free. We do so, and our, our our reasoning for that is is that we don't want to miss out on a child helping a child or helping a child advance because of funds, you know. Because there are a lot of programs out here that can help kids out, but the parents don't have the money to enroll them in the programs or get help from the programs. Right. So we don't want a parent to have to pay for our program to miss miss their son or their daughter. Man. That's that, that's big right there because a, a lot of people are looking for somebody to you know reach out to their son especially their sons and there's just not a whole bunch of brothers that's doing this or organizations as a whole like we were saying earlier big up to the fraternities they do some stuff but it's not as grassroots as what you guys are doing right now so i really commend y'all for that that's that's, that's so let me get just correct <laughs> um, i dropped my son off to <laughs> It won't cost me anything, it, right? It won't cost you anything. See, we, we, it's kind of a, a, a forcing way to involve the community. And because it said, they, the old saying is it takes a village to raise a child. Absolutely. So we force the community to help us take care of our children. These are all of our children. These are not just your son. This is my son, too. Okay, so y'all hear this now, right? So I keep <laughs> reiterating this. Exactly. So it won't be no excuses exactly. why we can't get our youth any type of help. Because these brothers out here are offering help. They are coming to you to give you the help. It doesn't take anything except a phone call, a fill out of a form, and and that's about it. Speaking exactly. of phone call, we have one coming in. Hold on. Now, this little name. Oh, are you there? You better be serious because we got a serious show. Don't come in here playing Hello? already. Well, I was just wanted to say this was a good show because I heard my name was called out, so I just want to say good show, and um, this is a really good topic, and it's definitely for, like, I can't say really we got to the community, and I'm not here to be a teacher. Justin, y'all see, I really touched my heart on this one tonight. Do y'all have a P.O. box you can say school's positive? 
No, we don't have a P.O. box. We don't get y'all P.O. box. <laughs> we'll get it to you. She can drop it off up here, though. We live down the street. So. This is one of our best. I will be back in real form next week, though. Uh-oh. No, 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 we need you to supply this week. <laughs> the giveaway is on Saturday, so we need we need a FedEx. 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 We need we love, we love her now. Because I, I, she like, she like, I, if she don't call, I might feel sad now. I'm like, and then they call it a day, everything. But no, nah, this was a very informative Damn. meeting with you all. And hold up, this is called Boys and Bowties, and I know I, I, I only got a GD, so I can't tie a bow tie. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you tie a bow tie? I can't. You look like you tie. can. I was with a tie. No, I can't. You, oh, you don't even got a tie the other way, you just, you just put it on. I, 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 I was getting ready to say something. I, I didn't, I'm slow. But these brothers, <laughs> can you tie one? Yeah, so. All right, let's, let's, let's get so to So, us at Boys and Bow Ties, we don't use bow ties. Because um, who got a bow tie later? Everybody knows what this yeah, is. We heard. <laughs> this is. This is a necktie. Okay. And we view these as kids. These are neckties. This is what society sees our young black kids it is, as neckties. They think they know what they're going to turn into. So they, they think they're going to turn into neckties, which society says they have to be athletes, entertainers, drug dealers, rappers, gang members. You know, mm -hmm. they, they think they've been to jail and all this stuff. Everything that's so, a stereotype. So everybody, I don't care where you go in the world, they know this necktie is going to turn into a necktie. And that's how they view our black young black men. But all the decisions that we make in life as black men and little black girls, makes you who you are, whether good or bad, which are all the folds in his necktie. And once that's wrapped up and you seeking the time or you've paid, it makes you who you are. It turns you into whatever you want to be, not what society says you have to be. It's the transformation of life. So instead of them saying you have to go to jail, you're a doctor. Instead of saying you have to be a gang member, you're a lawyer. Woo. Instead of them saying, you know, you have to be an athlete or entertainer because you're not able to do anything else. All they see is your physical ability. You, can go you, you didn't team. cure cancer. <coughs> you can go on the you know? team. So, and that's what your bow tie is. Woo! Hey, let me get that, bro. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, that joint got mean in the nerve. He was like, you gonna be wearing that joint like, I am <laughs> like this. Somebody, yeah, so, like, yeah. he's like, I don't look at that. Yeah, so brother, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, gotta take your time. They're like rose so, petals. Yeah, yeah. You know? so, yeah so, so that's so that's that's the what, story behind the bow tie. The bow tie. Right there. You know, a lot of people look at us when we go places and they say, "What y'all with the nation or something?" And we like, "No, we cool with the nation. We don't have no problem with them." Right. But we're boys the bow ties because you know, in the neighborhoods and the communities we come we we come up in. You know, we all start off as neckties because that's what we know. That's what our community shows us, you know. But throughout life, you make decisions and you focus on things and you study things and you turn yourself into what you want to be, not what society says you have to be. So I, I turn my necktie into a bow tie. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I'm not what society mm -hmm. says I have to be. I'm not what the community says I have to be. I'm not what my surroundings said I have to be. I have a uh, someone on the phone right now who I think can uh, help you, brother, with your cause because she is very, very, very intrigued with the uh, helping the black man out. So, call are you there? Hello? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh, we hang out. We hang out. Hi, y'all. What's up? Hi. 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 Can I get a bow tie? Sure I want a bow tie. I'm a female and I want a bow tie. You sure can. Hey, how you doing, girl? We, 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 Let these people know who you are. Exactly. Hi, y'all. This is Natalia Michelle from Black Red. How y'all doing? Hey, good, good. good. So you, you was checking out the show. You checked out the, what the fellas had to say tonight? Yeah, I'm up in Atlanta. Groove with y'all. Yo, I love it. 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 Let, let these gentlemen know the movement that you're doing right now. Wow. I am doing the Dear Black Man Network movement. It kicks off on August 15th, and it's all about supporting black men, uplifting them, and putting a positive light into black media. Right, um, 
I, I believe that black men do not get um, the respect that they deserve. I believe that they don't get the recognition that they deserve. And it's my goal and my team's goal is to change that image. And, and, and that's it's coming from black women. And that's needed just as much as us into the communities with the youngins, you know, our image that's portrayed with the media is, is horrible, man. Like, exactly. If you had, you still have Caucasian people in America that never actually seen a black person before, except for on television, on the news. And when you see something like this, it's, it's almost what they do with us, with the Muslim brothers. They make you think that everybody that's believing in the Islamic faith is crazy. Well, you know, ISIS, they kill more Muslims than they kill anybody else. They really do. They fight really each do. other, you know, and, and it's other Muslims that's trying to get rid of them because they are the problem, but that's not shown. You know, it's just showing this is them. You got your boy Trump coming on saying, oh, we got to stop them all from coming into the country until we figure out what's going on. Man, we know what's going on. <laughs> right, we've we been here. <laughs> Same thing been going on for every yeah. year. It's, 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 we need to watch um, Hillary too. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, and, uh, I, 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 Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> you know, I don't know Tanya. You know she was so, at the DNC. You better stop. <laughs> so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this out here, Tanya. I, 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 I go ahead. Let me shut up. We don't. This is the reason why I called. I will not be back on Saturday. I will not be back on Saturday. Okay. Because I will be back next week. And okay. the black Loretta will want to make a donation to the Black Lives Matter whatever. Well, it's a bow tie. We appreciate it. We Thank appreciate it. Thank so, you. so, hold on. You, you're going to be doing your radio station, correct? I am, but it's been put on hold. Oh, yeah, I do. I have an all black male. I mean, not all black male, all male. Because I'm, I'm trying to mix it up, too, for the all male radio show that's coming out, too. You're trying to get down with the world? So, 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 I'm, try, so I'm, trying, um, I'm trying to put them on. You know what I'm saying? Get, hey, yeah. Got you. As many avenues we can, let's get them out there. Okay. Um, can you get a I will. Send me their information, and also, um, we definitely will get them on the Black Man Network. Um, our, the website will go up August 15th, and we got some really good stuff. I don't care if it's about, I don't care if it's as simple as Black Love, Black Good Fathers. I don't care if you just got a promotion. I don't care if you just got out of jail. We celebrate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, what you do? You throw that oop? Yeah. Throw the oop? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's that thing, good. Yeah, yeah, no Thank you. We appreciate oh, you calling time, Michelle. Michelle. And you did a good job last week. You did a real good job. Thank you. I'm kind of upset because y'all don't bring me on the show when y'all ain't there. I mean, I know us ladies did it, but come on, y'all. Y'all know I love my brothers. All right, next time we're going to make, um, we're going to be here, and I'm going to make sure D got on a um, Jeffrey Osborne muscle shirt for you. I'm going to my hair sticking out the top of my collar. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure y'all got the water, man. Oh, we're going to have that, too. We're going to woo-woo-woo with this mother. Thank you for calling this, sweetie. Y'all, but I got to go. I love y'all. Be good. Send me the information so I can... I'll be back in town next week so I can bring the donation to whoever, whatever. Just tell me how to give it to y'all. All, All right. right. Thank you. I'll send it to you. I love y'all. All right. Bye. All right. <laughs> That's how we do it on Unrestricted Radio, y'all. That's great, man. Things That's happen. Man. Hey, you know, he, he uses ball head magic. It worked, you know what I'm saying? He had that blue, blue gossip flow on him. <laughs> got the, I don't even know how you finesse that. Hey, hey we, we got a little something for the adults coming up, too, man. The, uh, my sister, Tamika Jones Page, is participating in. Uh, it's run by Nisi Simmons. It's called Adult Field Day. And this will be taking place on August 20th at um, Anacostia Park, right when you pass the skating ring. Uh, this event will be from 9 in the morning to 6 in the evening. From 9 to 10 is check-in. From about 10.30 to 3, that's when the games will be going on. All the adult kickball games, softball. Well, that sounds fun. That sounds yeah. like, that, that sounds fun. You know, and uh, from 3 to 6, they're going to have refreshments and food and everything. Everybody get to come together and mingle and ice their knees and back. I already know it's going to be somebody trying to do extra in the kickball. Like, nah, cuz, slow, slow and baby bouncy. You got to bounce it. You got to bounce it. Slow and baby bouncy, cuz, nah, nah. And, 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 and unfortunately, this isn't a free event, but it's for a good cause. And you can go on www.eventtribute.com and look up Adult Field Day is where you can find all the information. Tickets are only $20. Mm -hmm. It's less than the fifth. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, it was a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> we all be drunk. So, you know, I mean, that, that's something for us adults that's going on, man. You know, come out, have a good time, man. Enjoy yourself. So, so you are part of it too, correct? 
Yeah, they, 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 they diversifying themselves. Yeah. They got free stuff for the Denise. kids. Shout out to uh, DJ J. Cam, my man. Grew up with him. You know, he's going to be DJ in the event. Denise also, you know, part of the situation. Man. man, these brothers got a lot going on. And I want to make sure, I hope y'all can get to one of these events, if not all of these events. And if you need some type of assistance, make sure you contact them on their hotline. What's the hotline number one more time? It's, um, I'm sorry. It's, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We all here, brother. We, yes, yeah. y'all got a lot going on, so that's okay. Like, 301 442 All right, so like you said. Say that one more time. It's 301 442 This is a grassroots movement, y'all. We need everybody to support. You know, this can't go on without the community. These brothers are sacrificing life and limb, time, family time, money, and everything to make things happen for others in the community. Sweet. So if we can sleep especially. <laughs> so if we can support these brothers in any way. Thank you, Latanya, for supporting these brothers. We're going to support them. Anybody else who wants to support them, make sure you do it. Unrestricted Radio, E-Life Media. Wednesdays are unrestricted. Real, real quick. Any school supplies. Any school supplies. Y'all hear that? Any school supplies. Any school. No excuses. And I just want to say that. Where you drop yeah. them off at? What do you need? Where do you put them? You can reach us on any of our social network pages, email or can on I the bring, phone. Can I bring them here? Yes, you can bring, bring them here. We're, we're bring them to the we'll radio come, station. We'll come, we'll come, come we're right around the corner. Yeah. Also, uh, I just wanted to say that you know we're our partner with a lot of Prince George County schools too. So we have programs that, to all the Prince George that schools. are involved with us. So we are in the schools. Um, also, we are back at Howard University this fall. For Howard Overbound Shout out the fall. to Howard the real Overbound issue. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Edmund Allen man, yeah. Mr. Hill man They really make they, it happen up there They are really doing a great thing And we're just happy to be a part of it And uh, all our kids that were up in the Howard, pro, pro, uh, Howard Overbound program Yo, we miss y'all I talked to Damien yesterday One of the young men Shout boy? out to Damien Little um, Damien <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope to see everyone this weekend Saturday 12 o'clock, Broadwater Mansion, Project Peace. I just want to give two more shout outs. Yeah. <laughs> One shout out, you know, to the rest of the team that couldn't be here. Brother Boys BJ. Ties, uh -huh. man. My brother BJ, Ty, JG, Mika, Big Lou, man. We love y'all, man. And, you know, we're going to hold it down for y'all, man. I want to also give a special shout out, man. I always hear my boy Kendrick do this. Not do it too, but I'm never on the radio to do it. Shout out to all my kids in the community centers, man. The people that's helping run the community centers. You know, it's it's, it's, it's it's very important to our community because without them, I, I I grew up in a neighborhood without a community center. Yep. And it's yeah, rough. <laughs> it's rough. It ain't where it's at. And I can just think of how many lives it could have saved if one was there. That's so true. man, shout out to all my youngest is in the community center, all the mentors and the staff members in the community centers all throughout the state of Maryland. Let's give a shout out to man. anybody that outreaches to anybody that's not their kids and their kids. How about that? that too. That's, that's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Well, man. before we go, let's give these brothers one more round of applause. They're doing a hell of a lot of community, and we need more of this. We trying, man. We trying. And here at the Unrestricted Radio Show, we encourage all things good. If it's for the greater good of the community, we encourage it. Yes, we do. So, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. The Boys to Bowtie Movement, y'all know what that's about. Make sure y'all hit them up on their uh, Twitter, on their MySpace. On a on their Instagram <laughs> or on the Facebook, Black wherever Planet. you gotta hit Black Planet, <laughs> FarmersMeet.com, it don't matter, you know, because you can might be in Burry Farms and you can still use that. So everybody, it's the unrestricted radio. All you single mothers, don't be using yeah, them. Shout out to it's the for kids. kids, right? It's, it's for the kids. Don't be trying to look up. Don't be looking at me like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go over there and you know maybe I can get a little touch up. So you think they're retwisting my dreads? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, right, right. No, that's not for that. They is not. They are not doing that. Shout right? out to the Goodman kids. League and inside the gates, man. Our boy Miles, man, he puts us yeah, he on down there, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, thank you. Well. Unrestricted Radio is happy to have y'all, and y'all can come back anytime y'all want to come back, all right? Man, appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, we, Ray said, bring the school supplies up here, all right? We're going to give them the boys the bow ties. Unrestricted Radio, because Wednesdays are? Unrestricted. We'll be right back. And black. Thank God, man. Thank you. Whatever we can do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Um, y'all can send them last time. That thing had a story to it. I got something. I got something in the car. You send it to me. I'll put it up in the car. You got some flies in the car? Okay. Yeah, I got some flies in the car. 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 Yeah, Man, we just finished, man. DJ, you all late. We didn't get in for an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Damn, Joe. What's up, mo? The way you want to say it. <laughs> What's up, homie? Man, we can y'all, see your nose from here. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. We can see your okay. nose from here, baby. I don't want you. <laughs> yeah, she, she can sit down if she wants to. Mo, will you sit there? Will you sit here? Yeah. 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 Let us stand up and we protect on y'all. Yeah. We gotta set that image. Plus, I'm, I'm sure. We're gonna give you some flies, man. What's up? Push up over the DJ. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm gonna fall right back on the show, back on. <laughs> Look, Grayson, he about to go in that joint, get his little free haircut. <laughs> like, we're getting in the chair, let him fade you up. Don't want to get a haircut. We just don't have no... Okay, so look. This is the one. Oh, you got the one. So I'm gonna tell you what happened on that. Cause I know what it is. Sonny told me I look good in pink. So your boo wanted to wear his pink. <laughs> So, you know, you know how that goes, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you this button, not mine? Uh-huh. She phoned you wrong. Come on. 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 Come Thanks, man. All right, bro. Y'all out? Yeah, we all right. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, hey, we're going to stay in touch so we can make sure we're getting supplies to you and everything else. Yeah. Got all the cards right there. Yeah. And next time I see you, know, man, you say thank you or something. I, I, you like, you know, I said to the fly, he was just like. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, right? Thank you. Okay, so look. Thank you so much, Mr. Pino. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay, y'all got like okay. 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 a few minutes. You want to put the camera's like this one. You look low? Uh, online? Yeah, you get them online, that's the best way to do it. Uh, so these are so they're not, not brand new, so. That's even better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Brand new is like five, seven, eight dollars more. Do you, 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 do no, this is I don't got a belt This is so low. It ain't, it ain't <laughs> good. <laughs> we have a camera for low lights. Shut up, so boy. So if you get a camera, you go ask for one. You get a camera to say it's good for low light. You got the handheld joint that takes a much better than you. Because I need a whole bunch of lights. Oh, so that's right. Some of them are good for low light. They just boom. They we have, we can't make it. We have a person. Like, if I take my phone out there, I'm no light. And I take this out there, but I'm no light. My phone is much better than that. I'm not doing it. I need light to make this. Why I thought he was going to talk to me. Let me see a picture of him. You do, you do resemble us. Are you like a brat? Yeah, you do resemble him a little bit. A little bit. Try to come back. Try to come back. Let's go. Let's go. Can you, I want to get, can you hit the cowbell like you did though? Let's go. Smokey, sit. Smokey, shut up. Sorry, let me stop. Sorry, let me stop. He, he might be beefing with you or something. I don't know. Might took one of his jokes from him. You know how Dwayne I get hurt. Wait a minute. We already up anyway. Dwayne be having a beefing. Y'all ready? I see. Nothing like being unrestricted. Let's go then. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I'm scared. All right, let's go. Yeah, we back, we back, we back, we black. Like we always are. Y'all be messing. all of us black. You keep saying that, man. What you bow wow now? What you supposed to be mixed? What I'm you? Asian. <laughs> I'm Yaki number five in this unrestricted radio, y'all. He Malaysian, and, and what you gonna be? I am, um, I got a little Indian. You got a little Indian? A little Indian. So you went wavy. <laughs> 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 I got a little Indian in me. I'm from the Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> you Jeep Cherokee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
The Wrangler sign. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have. like, you know, every time we come back, it looks, normally looks different. We got somebody else up here in the house with us. But this time, it's not a dude. Yay. It's a woman. It's a woman. Ooh, shout it's out a to woman. Yeah. Not to throw shade to any of the dudes that, because the dude that was just we here was some, was some some good dudes falls, then they had a good message. <laughs> but now we have a lovely woman. Indeed. How are you? I'm doing well. Hey, I don't want you to have to lean up too far and put okay. this in your don't face. Don't put that up. I mean, it looks like you. I'm not. I wouldn't do it with your hands. Yeah, I'm just not restricting that. I, 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 I did it like this. Look, I did it like this. I ain't do it like this. Put this in your face. Like, nah. We're doing it respectfully. We're doing it respectful. I didn't ask you before. You know, I don't want nobody on the parking lot waiting for me. I see how you push the mic in front of my girl's face. Slim, that's my girl. That's my... No, no, there's only no. one mic, Slim. Only one mic. Only one mic she rocking. Like. <laughs> only one mic she rocking. I don't care how restricted y'all are. Wow. Yeah. Mo, why don't you tell me how she is, Mo? Tell, tell uh, me who she is, Mo. It's my girl, Kiani Perrin. What's going on, Mo? What's going on, boo? Not too much. I'm just happy to be here. Thanks for having me. We in here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellas. <laughs> I, I'm Smokey. Smokey. And I'm Nappy Big. No. So we sit in the street say Nappy Big. <laughs> AKA not, Dan, Dan Wood Rather. <laughs> I'm Dwayne. What's going on, Smokey and Dwayne? Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. This is my yes. girl, Kiana Perrin. Yay! Yay! Yes! <laughs> I don't like you. Okay, I'm sorry. Kiana, you mm -hmm. uh, since you have Dwayne, Dwayne, AKA Nappy Big. Smoke. Is that a real nickname? That's like a real nickname. Yeah. That you say often. Oh, really? It's for real? It's like, I mean, you say it so much I say that I say, about myself. I say it now. Come on, let's get to the well, I say yeah. S-curl beer, but you know. Let's go, let's, <laughs> go to, let's, go to, let's go to our guest. Come on. <coughs> Kiani Perry, owner, operator, president, CEO of Fly Candy. Mm, what? Fly Candy? What, what, what kind of company is that? Me. It's marketing and media. That's it. Okay. That's all. I was gonna say fly candy, or like like arm candy, or like you know what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't sure. Yeah. What, what kind of uh, marketing do you do? So our specialty is the hospitality industry, entertainment industry, and lifestyle industry. So we um we provide you know, marketing and media services, social media management, stuff like that. That's what you do. Yes, that's what I do. Okay. Okay. So, so you can help us. Yes, because yes, we we always. we might need something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we try to get ourselves yeah. out there. Same good, it's but tough. Of course, I got you. I mean, you know, color coordinate. You know, you you are. Are. <laughs> like, that's a star, right? Yeah, that's you, a star. You, you, I did. She got the people. And it wasn't it wasn't even an email. It wasn't email. Was she like, bought she bought the did it. red pink earth tone blend. <laughs> I came with the high pink. He came with that. Someone always comes with a blend. What color is this? Like a Salmon. Be quiet. What color is this? Just light pink. What color is that? It's like a hot pink. Okay. You're a hot ass nigga. That's all. <laughs> first, she first 48. You do the oop. You do the oop. She even has a little fluorescent pink. So. Oh, yeah. And she blend too. That's what I'm saying. I don't. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. That gray, you, uh -huh. work, you work in that gray, though. Yes. You are working that gray. Okay. Smoke okay. you back up. We're going to vote his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> So look, you got an event coming up on Saturday too. Coming up on Saturday. What's that event? Hmm. So we have Taste Fresh Georgia's Food and Wine Festival. Ooh, Saturday. ooh, so you can get to sip on and get something to eat. What's that? Six Flags America, right up the street from here. Oh, Wild World. Where we have this. <laughs> 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 I just, the air don't call it that no more. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's it. Wild World. Oh, that's you it. are old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it Wild World you no more. Get it from here for sure. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's not from Prince George. I, I'm from Prince George, but I, I grew up in Montgomery County. Oh. But in the black area, Montgomery County. Yeah, that's what happened. And, and then we lived in, at Prince George for like, like two years, and then I've been out of Mo County for the, for the rest of the time. I'm from Prince George's County. But I represent Mo County, though. West Side. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. 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 So is this the first one you've had me? Yeah. 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 Been there every year, actually. Um, they're a really cool community partner to us. So ticket price is real low. It's like the lowest ticket price you can ever Like for the low, low, like. For the low, low. So, so it's $38. Mm. But. <laughs> what? What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> you can only bring yourself. Bring yourself. Take pictures so of everybody so everybody can see. You're but like, you should have Daddy having fun. Have you ever seen the pass? If you got no, kids, you should, you should literally have a season pass, though. And I'm not trying to do commercial like for them. Pass. 
Whoa! Look, only five of them will pay. Why are you telling my business? <laughs> Look, then it might give you a discount like the the, the group rate. <laughs> the group rate. You're like, nah. Like you're like, cheap. Like, cheap. Like, cheap pants is like cheap. It's like the price of one time going, and then you can go, you know, like. So then, if I have season pass, I can attend the event? You can attend the event. No extra ticket needed. You can enjoy a concert all day. We got a full stage at the Wave Pool. Oh, yeah. So, you know. So, who's performing this year? So, this year, okay. Because Wisdom Speaks rocked out Wisdom last Speaks year. Wisdom Speaks rocked. They Richard. couldn't do, like, a whole show. Like, they only gave us, like, a little teen snippet. They're actually closing the show out. What? Why? Huh? He laughed at me because I said shout out to Rich. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Rich on the keys? Shout out Wop, man. Shout out Wop. Yeah. Wop being that. If you can't be conductive. Oh, I'm not. He's not. <laughs> yes, he does. And they, no, they, they, they're dope. But, um, they'll be there this year. They're closing the show out. Oh, they're going to prank, too. Yeah, so who else do you have there? We have Yazara. Are you fans of Yazara? I've heard her. I've heard her. She's, she's amazing. She's actually on tour right now with Lenny Kravitz and Dr. Rose. She's a little, like, edgy. She's very edgy, but she's. Her voice is incredible. She does a Prince, Prince tribute. That's you should look it up. You should look it up. Yeah. So but she's that. So wisdom speaks. Wisdom speaks. Yazara. Yazara and, and reality TV band. We have seventeen acts. So Ooh, oh, so you, can't, you can't even go through all them. You like, like a lot. Cause we going through extra slow. We like and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> she was you like reality <laughs> band. <laughs> like. Uh, so it's 17, man. That's a lot of entertainment. Yes. The wine is going to be there. You said the it's wine? wine. going to be there. Because I do like a taste. You know yes. what I'm saying? I, I don't get drunk, but I like a taste. Yeah, so wine will be there. We have um, actually Calvert Brewing Company. You know, come through, do a tasting, do something here. At the, um, I did a tasting there. I yeah. went there. Make them come here. Yeah. I think they that's need, a good they idea. Need, you know, they they just like, they don't say it too loud, but I want the good doctor to hear. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> drank wine. <laughs> Jay, Jesus drank wine at the last supper. He drank wine at the last supper. So, would be okay to drink wine? Well, I guess you're right. They might have a vegan wine option. I mean, a vegan. Do I look like I don't eat meat? No. Don't answer that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, oh, oh, pause. Oh, pause. pause. <laughs> I wanted to say something. Yeah, I caught you before you did, though. I see. Look, you mean, he was like, he was like, oh! Look, you lucky it's her time to shine right now, because I don't. Oh, my God. You about to go hard on me, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, 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 you yeah, he's from Mo County. Yeah, I know he's got all the stuff. Oh, you got some money. I ain't tasting. I ain't gonna taste it. People be doing stuff in Mo County. You know what I'm saying? People be making moves. Oh, we have Running Hair Vineyard, which they're in Maryland. They're not Prince George's County, but they are in Maryland. Um, we will have Linganore Wines there. I know about Linganore. Both of those will actually be having um, the, 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 the Jamaican Wine Festival. Yeah, he's like, I be out there, blah, 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 getting drunk as I don't know what I'm Yeah, everybody loves Linganore. Yeah, that's the fun. And they love you. Yeah, they're cool people. Um, we have St. Michael's Winery, which is actually, that's I don't know if I'm supposed to say. It's not, it's not Virginia. It's oh, definitely okay. in Maryland, for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're not sure if you're supposed to know something. I don't know what part. I don't know about why. Like, yeah. 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 You know what a real smart one is. You look, I'm like, that's all Virginia. She's like, no yes. GED yes. smoke kids. Yes. From 49 and 28. Yes. Yes. Shut up, boo. In between I'm sorry, years. I know all my winery, okay? I know, that's right. That is Your winery won't be there. But shout out to Romano. Shout out to Romano. We the love only vineyard in. Only, 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 yes. Y'all really know that. Huh? Who's that? Brandywine. Well, I asked you to go with me, remember? Oh, wow. What excuse do you make up? First of all, she probably asked me like 10 minutes before she was about to Yeah, because she did. She'd be like, you're about to get your car. What you doing? You want to go to the pool party? He'd be like, now? He'd be like, I'm just getting in my car. At, like, I thought we had jokes with me. I was like, you can get some more jokes. What's the most saying? I'm going to Target. I'm going to Target. I got my most tennis. Suit on. I can't go right <laughs> you, you, you do be last week. Huh? I, I just figured I that out. That. I can definitely see that. Exactly. Yeah, see, thank you. See that. You, like, we go, we, you want to go to Philly? Yeah, we leave it in 10 minutes. You're like, damn. I guess I'll make it on the next drink. Oh, oh, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Well, I'll get my check to Friday. But we leaving in four hours. You did not ask me that I want to go. I did. I did. Wow. Thank you so much, She She finessed a little trip. Hell no. She asked me. 
Okay, okay. Y'all didn't oh, no, say no, the no. same thing. No. No. She just took a picture of the cheese steaks and showed us. I'm gonna say, like, okay. Are you talking about her little party bus? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we Oh yeah, she didn't tell us. It was eight buses. Hey, can we take it on one of them joints? Look, you could have put me on a joint with the whoever made the little ham sandwiches and the dinner rolls. I would have been on that bus with the little chicken wing. I'd have been good. Like, put me on the senior citizen bus. Yeah. Wow. He, he, like, he want to sponsor. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> you started the bus ride off with a friend. Yeah. For Sister John. Bow, bow, yeah, bow our heads. <laughs> Jesus and Latter Day Saints, Lord, we deliver thee. So how long you been doing this? So I've been in business for myself for nine years, but Taste Prince George's Food and Wine Festival for four years. Can you please tell them where you graduated from? Yes, Largo High School. But you're like your your oh, your my foundation. Whole, your okay. foundation you got from where? Riverdale. Riverdale Baptist. Baptist. Boy, you better know it. Riverdale you Baptist. better know. No. Oh, and the teenager will be on the basketball. Got it. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 Riverdale Baptist. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
cuz with the hot pink shirt. Yeah, just a little fat ass. Fat <laughs> 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 niggas now, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Why would dudes do other dudes' voice? They always do that. Because that's what the niggas sound like. They're talking to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I saw you. He can't be in his hot voice. He can't be in his hot voice. I feel like your regular voice. But no, he can't do it like that. Because he has to be sound. Not because he got a little upset. Like, like he tried to be a woman. You got a flex. How you doing? How you going to be a woman? I don't think you're going to say that. Oh, baby. I, I promise, I promise I won't stay out long. I, I'm just going up to the church with Smokey and Wake. It's Wednesday, we got vacation Bible school. No, you can read that Bible in the house. That's what I'm saying. Read the Bible. But, but the Lord said we supposed to fellowship. You see, I got my shirt on, but it's buttoned to the top of my new buck shoes. So then when you come, when you come back in the house, she make you recite some verses. She be like, let me smell your breath. <laughs> you about to make me go to, you about to make me go to a whole different animal. So, um, yeah. So, so it's not tough for you, you know? No, well, it can be challenging. I do, like, kind of set parameters for myself at night. I cut my phone on, do not disturb at a certain time, so that it just says, not bring it, period. Can't look at it. I meant to meet you on that part. Not, then it could be like, about why you under your phone like yeah, that? Like, you, you heard what she said? That was really You're just a promoter. She's doing big stuff, and you're just a promoter. Though? Club closing like, three. Uh, you don't need, you need your phone. Don't, like, do I do it even during an event? No, no, no. I mean, like... Oh, going out and getting yeah. out. Um, that, it can be it can challenging. Be, yeah. Like, for instance, I did. Oh, and you're attractive. <laughs> so, I mean, I know it's even harder. Right. To, to it, it just can smoke be. Smoke that all the time. And, and our industry is men. You know, a lot of men. So, and I'm dealing with a lot of men often. Um, so, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just, like, I just said parameters. It starts at 11 p.m. Yeah, not going. Like, nah, nah, I'm just not going. You ever take your friend? I'm 17. You ever take your friend with you? Yeah, I used to. He didn't really like to go in there. Smart man. He's smart. Because he, he, like, he like, he's like, was you looking over there? No, I thought, I thought they had wings over there. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought that's what a bottle service was. I wasn't looking over there. But you said that. I asked her that too. And I know that you're a promoter. So, like. But I'm not a promoter. Well, you I'm used a, to promote. I'm, I'm an event planner. Ah. Promoters like this never come to my box. Oh. <laughs> you, you. Nice. That's what it says on your Facebook page. No, it don't. He switched it. He switched it. He took a photo. No, that's, that's, no that's I'm asking question. the same, like the same thing. It could be a double standard <coughs> because she plans events and things like that. So she said her man, you know, sometimes he comes or whatever, and it, it may be a little challenging. It, but it, it's definitely challenging for me. I mean, um, that's why I asked her because I've never really met a female that does event planning like that. Right, but I'm um, saying like, how is if you're dating somebody or whatever, and you have, you, it's your event. First so, of all, I'm gonna tell you, I, I, any woman I deal with, I tell her, look, look, my, you're my, like, hold on, my, you, when you start my, with my female, Lord. Okay. Fan base. I'm not gonna say fan because I don't have fans. I don't like to say that. My female supporters <laughs> is my base. Oh, um, I don't have too many guys coming up to me kicking with me. I, I, I wouldn't want a whole lot of guys coming up to my event. Oh, we all going to the Wayne's event, y'all. Hey, hey get you your know, chance, Mo. You know, so that brings a lot of drama. So, for my fact, so, so that I have female supporters is like, it, it, it gets touchy because, you, you know, somebody always wants to stop for the cruise. Like, someone's always trying to prolificate <laughs> when I'm in the club trying to suck Trying to, uh, <laughs> Touch on my genitalia. <laughs> my woman is over there in the side on the corner. <laughs> like, no, I oh, don't. But no, it, it's hard. Uh, I mean, but guys are worse than women. Personally, I feel like. Oh yeah, they're way more thirsty. Like, the I, women are dehydrated. No, but they do it on a, in like a, a secretive true. way. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like a girl wink past you and they hand you a number and they keep walking. A dude be like, so I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can take another Soraka app. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they be all. So the man go to the bathroom. They all. So the look, so the what so the neighborhood. You what's up with your neighborhood? Right. What's up that's with your little neighborhood? Why? <laughs> what's up with that's you? Your, man. What's, what's up with you? Top flight security. He gonna he gonna watch that's you all man. night. Huh? He gonna watch you all night. He, he, he gonna watch you all night. He, well, he got a nice stick and and, and, uh, and your, flashlight in his pocket. And your man wasn't even paying attention to you. <laughs> she only doing her little thing. <laughs> yeah, you know. So you know, we always try to be slick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the night watchman. He watching over that thing. Uh huh. Like so, so has it really ever caused any like real problems at home? Like just one like handsome, stunning guy that got out, got in the Maybach once y'all left the event. 
Toyota Camry Maybach. <laughs> he's like, yeah. you know. He's like, yeah. He's like, like mama, 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 Camry. <laughs> Hey, look, she like just I should have left him at home. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean you gotta. You know, my guy, he's confident. He he has to be to kind of I guess date a person like me, and then vice versa with him because I mean he matches me, so it's not okay, like so. y'all match. Oh, and so, so same thing. So, so you ain't got like a little bookworm at home. He's like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm so happy you're home. Right. Like, you know. How was your event? Here, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a I always make sure to get home. Yeah, but you work good. Yeah, but you definitely have a you, you definitely have to have a confident mate if you doing anything in entertainment. Yes. I mean, yes. You do stuff in entertainment too, right? Yeah. And, and so, how how did how when you had a mate, how was that? Do you have one now? Got a couple of them. You ain't watched oh, last week's show? <laughs> I was I was rehearsing, so I only watched some of it. But you had I mean, is it like official like referee with a whistle, or is it just like you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But um, he Gucci. He Gucci. And <laughs> 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 hey, that's just so general. He cool. He, I mean, he cool. I mean, I mean, no. like I'm just cool. I'm just, just, like, like, I'm just cool. Oh, so I'm cool. So, so what? You cool with me? Just saying, like, Why I mean, he's cool. Like, this is your job. This is your career. So, I mean, I ain't tripping. You gon' you coming home? So. How about you? You got. Anything? So, <laughs> what are you saying? Oh. Thank you. Oh, me? Oh, no. I, I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Hey, pump it, the knees, pump it. Hey, pump it. hey, hey, I'm, I'm ready. Hey, hey, man. So, let me, let don't me call not, back let me, let me not downplay it. Yeah, I, I'm done with something. So, oh, um. why do men do that? What? Uh, you was like, you have a mate. You got a mate, yes. You got a man at home, yes. First of all, now, now, we, just lost, now we just lost six viewers. Yeah, I know. Not, now, like, <laughs> now y'all are blue. <laughs> you're blue. You know now we're going down to two viewers. Yeah. Lou got to Junior Junior. He does not have a mate for real. I, I was lying. He, he don't got no mate. He, he was real slow with it. Yeah, I'm kind of a yeah. No, he said yes. He said yes. He, he did. He it, because you know, I know what it is. Like as a man, you don't want to put your mate out there and make her so vulnerable. Because exactly. Because like, here's the thing. Wow, no, 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 no. Let me say. Let me say. Well, this what happens. Okay. Single Smokey, right? Uh huh. Single Smokey's on Facebook. He taking pictures. He doing poses and everything. Soon as Smokey asks somebody in that drink, the hate comes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, like. She could have cut her little Malaysian hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But she, you know those ain't, don't, those ain't even real baby hands, you know what I'm saying? Why your hand on her waist? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we try to protect because we know, fem not all females, but females can get self-conscious about. You know, but dudes do it too. Like, I seriously, I'll, I'll take pictures with dudes all the time. But like, there's one guy in particular that I always was me and him, and they're like, young, oh my gosh, like, yo, yo, yo dude, he's cute, he got pretty eyes, like, yeah, it's my cousin. Like, for real, it's my but real that's not, But that's not hating. No, but like. And they was like, oh, his saying? beard nappy, oh, but, like, he need to But they'll come in your head like, over. oh, oh, you posting pictures with dudes now? Oh, oh, all right. Oh, the family is timeline, though? Like, but they text you. It'd be the baddest thing that never make a picture. That's what it is. It'd be the baddest thing that never make a picture. Oh, oh, the bad man. Oh, he on your Instagram, though? You wouldn't make money on your Instagram, though? You don't want to be a fellow oh, support. Right, you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, hey, he's straight. Like, <laughs> Can't you see he got his hand? Can't you see he got his hand on his hair? <laughs> no, boo. Oh, my gosh. That's how he lied. He's snapping. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> he posing like this. Can't you tell? Can't <laughs> You're ignorant. So now I don't got I don't have those problems. But yeah, maybe one day I wish I, I would. I've been there, done that. I understand. I try to stay away from that. Me too. That's good. Yeah. So. Taste yeah. Prince George's. Taste of Prince George's no, at Wild. Taste Prince George's. Taste Prince George. Ooh, yeah, like a, taste. Mm, yeah. Taste Prince George's. Taste of your life. Oh, I taste it. Oh, I want to taste. <laughs> so. That was a good yeah, one. Good it's one. Saturday, it's Saturday, August 13th. Yeah, at Wild time. World. From noon until 6 p.m. Yeah. So, oh, so basically they can go to Boys and Bowties again. Go to boys and Bowties. They can go and to the... And then they can leave there and go to Six Flags. So they can speak. Yep, so you can get, yeah. oh, get, get on your ways out. And it actually is an old time. Y'all probably gonna go late. Y'all gonna be out there since 9.30. So, so they crank last year. Well, they crank <coughs> every at 7, so we got it. Oh, yeah, the yeah. park closed at 7? The way the way Oh, oh okay. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all in the way pool? We the have one size this year, though. We do it's a splash play? Oh, shh. Which is the way? Hey, he all, he all. We might have been up there. Hey. Hey. So, I mean, yeah, kind of, yeah. Bring your splash. 
plastic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Honey shake much as this. Nope. Oh, we got two sides. So the same side we used to be on. We are at celebration stage. That's our food and wine stage. Chef demos and food and wine pairings and um, competitions and all kind of stuff on one stage. Other stage is music. Any big restaurants that we like have heard of out there? Um, Famous Dave's will be out there. Oh, that's the barbecue joint. Yes. They got um, the, uh, the burnt tips. Infuse will be out there. Okay. Shout out Derek Shout Williams. Shout out Derek Williams. Infuse, we right. have um, Chef Ron. Camp Springs. Yeah, they should bring them in. They should, you know, get on some samples and stuff. Yeah, well, I, I don't need uh -oh. a sample. I'm fat already. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm, 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 I'm working. <laughs> All that for my 38 dollars? I'll be All there. You're right. You know what I'm saying? I'll be there. <laughs> So, um, wait, do y'all have Do we get doggy bags for the kids? We do. So, after the <coughs> vodka will be there. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 Oh yeah, come cool. on. Fifty gonna come out there. Fifty gonna be there, maybe. Fifty gonna be there, people. No, fifty gonna be there. I said it. This, this just did. Yeah. This just did live off the ninja there. Fifty said at Wild World this weekend. Every <laughs> vodka. Every vodka. He might be first on unrestricted radio show. It's gonna be Ken's day. I don't think he's gonna show his joint, but he might show you a clip on his on his phone. So come to the taste. No, taste PG, not the taste of. Taste PG. Is it a taste of PG? It's, is this okay? uh, no, no, no. But this is taste like PG. Okay. Said, I said this is taste PG, not taste of. You never taste PG? Yeah. Uh, not. <laughs> you see how I got it? <laughs> no, I never did. Wait. <laughs> I know, I, I never did. I never did. You know, spit on it. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes it works better with spit on it. But this is unrestricted radio, <laughs> and this is how we do. We have. Sometimes. Always. Always. <laughs> 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 Ow! You just thought it's not what? It's unrestricted. It is saying it's it. It's not even interesting at all. What is it? Oh. It's just how I can do a sign that I need to do. Like. <laughs> <laughs> she like this. She like, look, well, well, hold on. Well, let, me, let, me, let me let you know something. <laughs> she like, this is going to be a boy. Let me put one on my wall. If, you, if, you're, no, if, you're, quiet, no, if no. you're quiet about anything in the studio, you will get a card when you leave here from Reggie Reyes, the man with the cards. He wasn't popular. He had all the cards. He didn't pop up with the cards, dog. Hey, so basically, people are like hitting me up about taste. If somebody just hit me and said to smoke, you need a date. Oh. You know what? I might, but it, I, I'm also going somewhere already. Oh, and we're going to talk about. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm, I'm, I'm going to another party. It's a little. You know, masquerade type party. You know what I'm saying? Can you not? Go, oh my God, I smoke. Are you ready? Hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna wear. A wait, what are you waiting? I'm not gonna wait. wear a masquerade oh. mask. I'm gonna wear an eye patch. All I'm gonna say is, <laughs> please go check out playnicesocial.net slash events for the mansion party. Y'all better. We can't. Man. We can't say too much more about that. But if you want to go to the party, uh, where, where can they check it out, B? Play P L A Y N I C E S. O C I E. You don't want this one. Not net. No, you might want to come. You could get some good networking here. You know what I'm saying? It's a good networking. I DJ Cash was going to be on the ones and twos. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a party. You know what I'm saying? It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Now, I would not say if my nipples will be covered or not, but they will both be attendants at the party. You're ignorant, guys. Hey, my nipples was out at the Diamond Star Divas party, and I was getting love. So. Yeah, smoke this. Had all of them around. I had, I had a couple of joints. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get a lot of belt. We gonna hey, and, and we got joints calling in here already. So, taste the PG. What was oh, the most? Oh, taste PG. Oh, oh, oh. It's not PG. It's Prince George. He from Mo County. Won't y'all give him some slack? Damn, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to educate. Uh, right taste, now. taste Prince George's. There you go. Taste. Prince George. Like you disrespect the Glen Arden. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, on, on Riverdale Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> Give him some slack. Why Ta are you so pressed? Taste Prince George's, y'all. I'm going to say it a hundred times until I get it right. <laughs> it sounds funny. Ta taste Prince George's. Taste are you, you going to taste Prince George? You sure? Pause. <laughs> pause. Oh, pause. no. Uh, pause. She said pause. She I said pause. She said pause. I taste PG. Pause. So. <laughs> well, this is the unrestricted radio show. We just like getting unrestricted. 
Maybe we should give her the guess and then do, do you we, don't have wanna, we don't want to damage her image. No, no, keep her up here because she ain't left yet. So it's all the good to go. She said the dude that's sitting outside the Camaro with the tents is not her man. So we good to go. You got any more events that's going to take place? I sure do. Saturday, <coughs> August the 13th. Everything's happening on Saturday. 1 to 7 p.m. Take the family out to the 15th and your KLM Community Day and Health Fair at Lago High School, 505 Lago Road. Upper Marlboro, Maryland. This is a family day event will consist of free health assessment testing, children events, car and fashion show, free back to school supplies, haircuts and hairstyles, um, free hamburgers and hot dogs for the kids from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Where else? Okay. Uh -oh. um, maybe. We'll <coughs> you know, I can keep going, keep going, keep going. Also, each and every Tuesday, check out Big J Productions and Samada Entertainment presents the comedy show hosted by Lawrence Owens. Oh man, I heard that joint funny as a mug. I heard they had to do uh, redo Brown from the internet videos up there a couple weeks ago. You did. What? They had they had uh, Haywood Turnip Seed up there uh, last yes, night. Yes, sir, they did. Man, I heard it's a straight up party. Where that party at? It's at Touche, eleven twenty three Eighth Street, Northeast Washington D.C. <laughs> Showtime is at eight thirty. Doors open at seven thirty. Get a free drink before 9 p.m. And the young and the yeah. young is be in there too. Oh, on, wait. On, oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Good. Nah, the young is be in that comedy show joint. And the two shades. And Lawrence. Lawrence Owens. Oh, okay. He re he real funny. It's a real good atmosphere. I went down there one time. I ain't had no money for drinks, but I met a nice young lady. She bought me one real drink. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a number, but it was wrong. So, it, but I still had a good but time. The drink, though. That's all. And it was, and she had enough money to buy me a drink. So, hold on, let's see who this call is. Who? Thank you for calling on the Sugar Radio Show. <coughs> I'm good. Man, I'm good. It's hot in here. They got the fan on. You know what I'm saying? My sinus is doing a little something. Hey, he just got some hair in his throat. That's all. That's all right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait one minute, sir. Ask me the question, baby. Would you turn down a free dinner? Nope. <laughs> I ain't got no shame. Nope. Where we going? I'll, I'll take you when I come back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But I just, I just landed a date on this joint. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shit. I don't think she's talking about dinner dinner. No, what, what, that was your cue. I was trying to hook you up. Nah, see, he was trying to send me to Costco. Oh, he was trying to send me to Costco. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was trying to get me to get big groceries. <laughs> Yo, what? Well, hey, I'm accepting. I, I, I'm accepting. We're gonna make this an unrestricted radio thing. We're gonna, uh, oh, we're gonna have the cameras and everything. Yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to do confessional and everything. You know yes. what I'm saying? So, like, I'm gonna record this. So, and a bow tie. He's gonna make you a bow tie for you. And I'm gonna wear a bow tie too. Just for. No, I'm gonna have a bow tie, bow tie, and a tie. Just depending if you got clothes on Monday, so it depends on. What well, well, you? Oh, well, 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 just to let you know, I will wear a butt, bow tie butt naked too, <laughs> <laughs> with church socks, because I got church in the morning. Church. <laughs> oh, that's unrestricted radio. That's how we get down. If anybody wants to call in and uh, harass Mo, you can call us at two four zero four five 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 nine three four. Time for that. If you want to harass Dwayne, call in two four zero four five 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 nine three four. And if you want to harass Miss Kiki, do it real quick because we got a little bit of time left. 240-455-5934. Let me finish up around my DMV. Yes, do that, sir. So Soul Clothes Entertainment, Sean B. and Silly Bass Entertainment presents Sundress and Cigars Day Party, oh, August dear. 20th. Performing team familiar, hosted by Tony Spoon Stewart. Music by DJ Chuck B. That also is at Touche Supper Club, 1123 8th Street, Washington, D.C. It's 4 to 9 p.m. for tickets. Contact Clove Party at 301. 996-2043 or Sean B at 202-440-0509. Kind of be iterate back earlier with the boys to I mean boys to boats to ah uh, boys to boat house. Say it three times fast. Shut up. <laughs> August 20th is Adult Field Day, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tickets available at adultfielddc.splash that t h a t dot com. Music by DJ J Cam. The field day, which consists of tug of war, balloon race, dodgeball, obstacle course, play kickball. Team of five is for hundred dollars. That's twenty dollars per person, and twenty five dollars for individual players. They are also asking for donations to help our guests, which which tonight was boys to bow ties. Yes. To learn more about this supplies to donate, check out boys to boys to bow ties .com. All right. 
What else? What shit? You want to you? You like I ain't shout out none of them people because they ain't come to copy shit. No, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. Also, I got a shout out. Uh, NW Graphics uh, just did a, a t shirt line. You know, he supports us 100%. And I'm gonna show oh, It's called the Hero T. Turn, turn it down so we can really give her the shout out for this. Go ahead. T -t 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 talk about the tees. It's called the Hero T. Uh, NW Graphics, she does it. Um, check it out. You can reach it. The dash hero dash T dot my shopify dot com once and again the hero t at my shopify dot com are they on ig too yes man they are and i need a t-shirt I, I need a t-shirt i need v-neck because i don't really got much of a neck so i don't like to wear the uh regular joints you know what i'm saying i got an eck you know what i'm saying so give me a v-neck joint i got the bread for you holla at me but um just real quick to my knowledge uh got the president that came in correct Oh yeah! Oh, let's, let's, let's run him in real quick. We, we fly him in. We gonna fly you in real quick, BJ. Hey, hey come on, on, come on in, brother. Oh my! We gonna fly you in. <laughs> he, he couldn't be here exactly on time, but he made it. He came through. My man, BJ. What's up, homie? Hold on, brother. Man, thank y'all for man? having us, man. I ain't gonna take a whole lot of time, but uh, shout out to everybody that tuned in and uh, peace and blessings, man. That's it. What's good? What's good with you, brother? Man, this is what I do right here, yeah. man. What's happening? I heard y'all do a good thing, brother. That's right, man. Change the world. Got some good representation. Time. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, yeah, you, you, you know your you know your people. No question. They, they represented well tonight. No question. He said they was. He said yeah. don't. He said don't worry, my man Gino. Yeah. He official. He, he said he's he gonna kick it. it to y'all. Y'all gonna be straight. You got it. And, and then he threw the audible and, and threw uh threw his brother in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got it, man. Thank y'all for having me. Seriously though, peace and blessings. We're gonna send everybody we can towards your way, brother. What up? My man. This is how we do it, y'all. Unrestricted radio each and every Wednesday. Smokey, that guy that some people like, some people don't, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, that would be me, Dwayne. Uh, Dan would rather. And who are you? Lobo, but I won't be here next week. Sorry. Oh, where you going to oh, you put oh, a leash no, wait a minute. You said, Lobo, can you Sonny, just stop this? Uh-uh, uh-uh. You uh -uh. ain't put your RTO in. Exactly. That's the wrong word. Uh-uh, uh -uh. no, I, I, I ain't get it. It ain't, ain't past my desk. Really? I'm sorry. I won't be here. Where are you going? Actually, You're in your business. Where are you going? I'm going to be out of town for a conference. Where out of, out of town? Out of town. Where? Out. Mass nothing? Because there ain't no conference so out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't, ain't no conference in Pocono. You want to know where you're going? No, Bowl, bath, and champagne glass? Mass of nothing. Mass of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <Mass or nothing. laughs> <laughs> 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 Mass of nothing. Mass of nothing. Mass of nothing. Mass you know what? It, it happened. You know what? But you know, since you're not going to tell us. Uh-uh, let me, you know how this always thank with him. So, we have, we have to thank our last guest. Thank you, Kiani K. Thank you, Kiani 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 K. How they can get in contact with you, how they can acquire your services and anything else. Sure, you can find us on um, all the social networks, Fly Candy TV, and then at Taste PG Festival for um, the festival. Taste Prince George's, y'all. Oh, yeah. you, oh, you, oh. you do a song and plans for your, your services? Sure, yeah, okay. You know, I'm a stupid radio show going for the you <laughs> for the down payment twenty five dollars. <laughs> wow. Do you take post dated out of state checks? <laughs> you take post dated out of state checks. <laughs> <laughs> well how about rush cards? <laughs> we got five of those. Exactly. But this is a, all our time to the next time. We like to see your face every Wednesday and you know Call in, you know, go on the Facebook page, like it, go to Instagram, hey, yeah. tell a friend and tell a friend, say, man, those dudes in those pink shirts and that young lady with that Jam Master J tweed hat on, <laughs> were killing them. <laughs> tell them. They were killing them, real right? Real and trill. Real and trill. Hey, real and trill. This is how we do it, because Wednesdays are unrestricted. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all support. Yes, indeed. Thank y'all. Lynette, well, I'm going to see you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Send them school supplies in, too. Don't forget the school supplies. Overnight them joints. Boys to bow ties. Yes, indeed. Ow! Like what?